Hey guys, Darkwaker here. For today's video, I will explain my tier list in Arena Vela for solo queue with a little aspect of competitive. I'm a former rank 1 player and I'm currently playing for Nova Esports and we will participate at the E3 Vela Series playoff and the winner of those matches will go to the Arena of Vela World Championship in LA. So let's get started. You, as you can see, I divided it um, into the roles Dark Slayer, Mages, Jungle, Support, and Abyss Lane or Marksman, and then God Tier, S Tier, A Tier, and the rest is pretty much garbage, in my opinion. But of course you can play whatever ch uh, whatever hero you want and what hero is the most fun for you. So starting with Dark Slayer lane. God tier is Superman by far. He has really good damage, really good CC, insane mobility, strong split pusher and especially in solo queue. You can just roam early game, get ganks off, get kills for your team and Superman can carry solo a game. So amazing. And in team fights, if he's doing a good flank, he can decide a team fight. Uh, yeah, he can decide a team fight alone. Now S tier, Omen, Kilgroff, Lubu, Wonder Woman, Zaniel. They are strong split pushers and stro either strong split pushers or strong laner that can bully your opponent so they get a huge lead and then roam around, get ganks off or invade the enemy jungle, jungler, steal their camps, pressuring. That's the job of the Dark Slayer lane. And Omen. Now starting with Omen, he's a strong split pusher, he's strong 1 vs 1, he's not that strong early game, but once he's fed, he's nearly unkillable, especially because of his second skill, um, he gets damage reduction by 70%, and his ultimate uh, reduces, I think it reduces uh, the auto attacks from your opponent, and it's a great tool in team fights. To catch your yeah catch uh, opponents uh, carries like ADC like if you use your ultimate on opponents Violet she she is fucked for sure and Omen is just a strong split pusher that creates pressure for your teammates so that you can like even one versus two you would win with Omen when you're fat uh, late game so he's really strong and Kilgroff is pretty much the same he's a strong split pusher. He's a strong one with one with one hero. He might be not that good early game, but late game he's a fucking beast. Lubu, he is the uh, all rounder. He's strong early game, strong mid game, strong late game. He's a great engager. He has good CC. He is tanky. He does a lot of damage. He is at every stage of the game strong. He's a good lane bully against Kilgroff for example, so if you wanna counter Kilgroff, Lubu is really good at it. Like his job, yeah, he fulfills the job as a Dark Slayer laner really well. Same for Wonder Woman, she's a strong lane bully, she can pressure really good, but I would recommend her at the Abyssal lane and as you can see at the Abyssal lane she is S tier 2. Now Zeniel. Zeniel is a good split pusher, he's a good tank and the advantage with Zeniel is uh, when you're split pushing one has to defend Zeniel but if the other tier, your other teammates are forcing a team fight at Dragon or Dark Slayer for, at, um, yeah, Dark Slayer for example, Zeniel can join that team fight. So he can create a, a team fight advantage just because he has his amazing ultimate, his amazing global ultimate, compared to any other hero. 
like only Max has a, a global ultimate too. But if if Zenya is the only hero in the game, um, not uh, not Max included, he creates the advantage of forcing a five versus four team fight. You just got four men are starting Drake. The other are thinking, yeah, we can fight this one. But Zenya is joining them. He gives a shield and a heal to all his um, yeah two. Wait. Yeah, to all his teammates. And in his ultimate, people uh, are getting reduced damage. That's really good. And, like, that's why those heroes are S tier. And the A tier heroes, for example, they are not doing the job as a Dark Slay laner, like split pushing, pressuring. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. Split pushing, pressuring. That's the job. That's the job of a dark slaying laner, and the A tier heroes are not doing it as well. Like Zuka, strong assassin, strong early game, but in a straight one versus one against those heroes, except maybe Kilgoroff, uh, Kilgoroff, and Zenil, he's just not as strong. Like Lubu, Omen, Wonder Woman, Superman. They just shit on Zuka. Flash, strong assassin, not that strong early game, and he's weak compared. If he's facing one of those heroes, he has a bad time. And same for Irie. Irie is strong early game, mid game decent, and late game not that strong. She provides good um, CC with her ultimate and her first skill, but. She's squishy as fuck. Like you go in, you have to go out again. You can split push, but if you're facing one of the S tier heroes, you have a hard time. And same, yeah, like I'm repeating myself, same for Ryoma. He's really strong early game. He's a lane bully. He can shit on Zaniel, he can shit on Killgrove. But late game or mid game, he's getting outscaled by those heroes. He can pressure really well. I guess. For solo queue, a good Ryoma can still, like it's a skill matchup. If you're a good Ryoma, you can still beat uh, those heroes, but it's like skill versus skill. If you're a good Omen or a good Lubu, you're more, more likely to win against a good Ryoma. Like good Lubu versus good Ryoma, good Lubu is going to win for sure. Max is pretty good. He's amazing against ADC comms, but... I wouldn't say he's better than those heroes I mentioned in the S tier category. And he got nerfed in the last patch. Not this patch, but last patch already. And he really fell off. I'm not seeing him that much competitive anymore. Like, in Asia, he Max is still quite popular, but not sure. Those heroes are just way better at doing their uh, job as a Dark Slay laner. And the, the heroes I didn't mention are pretty much garbage, but you can still play them, of course. They are, like, if you are mastering one hero really good, you can still solo carry, of course. But if you're mastering a Superman, for example, you're shitting on everyone. Like, mm, you want to be good at those meta heroes in the God tier or S tier, S -tier category. So you're going to carry, like, for example, you're, you're Zuka main. You're facing strong Omen and Lubu players, you're having a hard time. And if, you're get, uh, if your main pick is getting picked, you're not going to play Dark Slayer lane, for example. And then you have to adapt. You need to play for each role, like Mage, Jungle, Support, Abyss and Marksman. You need to be able to play at least two heroes of each category and it would be the best to play one of the god or ST heroes and master them. So that way you can carry uh, even when your favorite hero is picked for example. And of course you can play a shitty hero like I don't know Wukong at Dark Slayer lane. But even if, like, I mean, if you master Wukong, your god, master, uh, god uh, Wukong player, 
and you're facing Zuka, you can beat him, of course, if he's not that skilled. But if you're got a Superman or Omen or any S tier hero, you're shitting on everyone. So try to play one of those heroes if you want to climb. If you if you want uh, easy time at climbing. But of course, um, if you w just want to have fun, you can play whatever you want. But this is just my recommendation for heroes that are the easiest to climb with and the strongest hero in general, like in solo queue and competitive. Like those heroes are just really strong at competitive too. Like Superman, Omen, Wonder Woman, Killgrove, Lubu, they are must pick at the moment, they are always picked. So let's hop into Mages. Mages, Tulan. Tulan is by far the strongest mage right now. Yeah, even, not even competitive, even solo queue, he's the strongest. He's got here. Because he's early game amazing. And early game wins the game. He has the pressure, he has the damage. He can fuck the opponent's uh, jungler so hard up. Like, go invade, go steal the camps, go ganking. He's just quick wave clear and then rotating, roaming. And compared to others, Liliana is slow early, Flash is pretty slow early, I guess. And they lack the damage early game on. Because Tulin doesn't need Hikatas. Hikatas got nerfed right now. And Tulin can just go for Soaring Aura. But late game, yeah. Late game Liliana and Flash are still fucking amazing. They do so much damage because they. I don't need. I don't know the Engl uh, the AOV item name, but in LOL it's Void Staff, the Magic Penetration Percentage item. They can get that later on. But Tulin does need that. He's he can get Soaring Aura. He's still so strong early and mid game. Liliana. And Flash, great mobility, both of them, great um, damage, they are just so strong. An A tier, Praetor, Laurel, Kali, Joker, Raz. Laurel can be S tier if you are really, really good on her, for solo queue of course. Praetor got nerfed, but still good wave clear, good damage, good CC with his, not sure, with his uh, second skill, the, this positioning skill. Kali, good wave clear, good damage with her ultimate, but she's pretty squishy, she can be fucked by like Batman if she's getting ganked. She's quite squishy, she doesn't have that amazing self peel like Liliana or Flash or Tulan. Joker mid uh, is pretty good, good early game, good damage, late game really strong. He can shit on most mages. Except for Tulan, he can be pretty good at, against Liliana early game, and against Flash he has a hard time. But except for that, Joker is pretty good. And Raz, A tier if you're good at him. He has his wave clear, wave clear is bad, but he has amazing poke and his gank potential is so good if you can use him, of course. For jungle right now, Zephyrus. Oh, I, I, I do it this way. Okay, Zephyrus, Ryoma are by far the strongest heroes right now for uh, solo queue in the jungle. Zephyrus, tanky assassin who can initiate team fights. He can just jump on the ADC and one shot him and get out and still fighting and still living even though he took so much damage. He's just fucking amazing. Ryoma. He is so strong early game, he can roam around, he has a stun, he has incredible damage, he is quick in the jungle, he can go invade enemy jungle, he can fuck weaker junglers like Zill, Butterfly, Crickneck, Necroft, Ryoma is just stronger than them. And S tier, some people might say Batman is not S tier, but in solo queue, where people don't know how to uh, play against him. Uh, especially below master ranks, Batman is crazy. And even in uh, Conqueror gameplay, if you're a master of Batman, he can carry early game so hard 
and once you're carrying uh, once you're snowballing early game you're going to win since most of the times early game decides the whole game already Murad 2 Murad is so good um, to carry games because he has so much damage he alone can carry games he might be not that strong um, till level 4 so he is vulnerable if people decide to invade him but below master you're free farming you're doing so much damage Merod is S tier for sure same for Lindus Lindus can farm so quick she's so quick in the jungle and she can gank left and right left and right and people are ignoring her she's just so quick on the map and people don't know how to play against ADC especially below master ranks and even at master or conqueror ranks Lindus is so good at solo queue because people are not coordinated and they don't punish a Lindus player they just let her off AFK farm so Lindus is a top pick for sure at, yeah she's S tier and for A tier those heroes are pretty good but they are just not as good as God tier or S tier Necroft early game strong but if he's not snowballing he has a problem Wonder Woman um, pretty good tank pretty decent um, jungle clear but just not as amazing as a ganker like Zephyrus or Ryoma and teamfights pretty good but she can't solo carry she's not that amazing at solo carrying like Zephyrus snowboarding crazy ganking everywhere unkillable Wonder Woman is not like that Zill pretty good uh, jungle clear but his problem is that we are currently having a warrior and tank meter uh, meter and it's just so hard for him to kill those in the mid and late game once he's snowballing Zill is so strong he used to be back a few months uh, months ago he was S tier for sure but right now he's just A tier because he struggles against tanks he has to snowball or he's not doing that much Violet A tier because she's getting outclassed by Lindus Lindus is just way faster jungle jungle clearing than Violet and she can gank left and right so quick compared to Violet Violet is still really good like when you're farming up you can poke mm, yeah you can poke other opponents and then force and pressure the towers still really good butterfly yeah she's snowball reliant once you're snowballing she's fucking OP she can carry the game alone really well quick neck got buffed he's really strong now even before the patch he was pretty strong but right now he got so much so much stronger so quick knock a really good pick as well and for supports we have Timmy amazing mobility amazing ultimate just the whole package you want as a, uh, from a support Tane and Mina great roamers great CC good at pressuring uh, in the opponent's jungle just roaming around left middle um, right just so amazing and for Alice mm, I put her competitive yeah competitive she's S tier for sure because she can shield your and she can she can shield uh, your teammates gives movement speed has uh, an amazing uh, AOE silence that can slow when you're using frosties and her peel just for your like an ADC comms Alice is amazing appealing for your ADC so she, so she's really strong but she's not a good Roma compared to Tane or Mina and that's why um, she's A tier in solo queue and other A tier heroes are Crash, Arduin and Orma Crashed is A tier because he's just not that good early game like he needs the level 4 and he always needs in team fights as ultimate and 
Um, for a support you want a strong early game pressuring support like Tain or Mina who can um, roam around, pressure in all lanes, go for ganks, pressuring the um, opponent's jungler, annoy him. That's where Tain, Mina and Timmy exceeds at compared to Crash or Arduin or Orma. The problem with Orma is he's pretty good early game but he's not a good tank. Like he can't tank that much. He needs to snowball or he has a hard time. Arduin, not a good roamer, pretty tanky, good CC, but not that mobile compared to Tain or Mina or Timmy. For this lane, we have Maloch and Wonder Woman at S tier. They are so amazing at tanking for your team. Maloch, amazing tank, amazing initiating ultimate good he can get the shield from um, against opponents and he does true damage wonder woman good early game good ultimate can get uh, can get shields to everyone um, good cc can use a, a lasso to pull someone in when he's low and a tier chokna pretty good early game not that amazing as a tank, not good CC, he can only slow, but he can use his ultimate to remove uh, crowd control from your uh, from your teammates. For Marksman, Violet Joker, Joker is just so good at solo queue, he has amazing damage, amazing self peel, and he can use his second skill to negate uh, physical damage. Maybe Violet actually, yeah, Violet is way better in the jungle compared to Max, uh, to Abyssal Lane. So try to play her in the jungle if possible and not um, as a marksman in the Abyssal Lane. Lindis can farm herself pretty well up, but the problem is she's short range. She has great mobility. She can farm um, like the the bird and the mini golem pretty well but compared to joker who is just he just has he's just, just early game so good and he does so much damage against, uh, against squishies john yeah i still put him 80 because he does so much damage but the problem with john is he needs a comp that can peel for him like if he's facing zephyrs or batman He's having, or Flash, he's having a really hard time. So for competitive, Yawn is really good. But, yeah, for solo queue, he can still, if he's farming well, he's not getting fucked by, like, Zephyrus or Flash or Batman. He can be really good and carry team fights since he does so much damage. So, let's summarize. If you want... Like, this tier list is a recommendation. It means you should play those heroes because they are so strong. They are easy to carry with, but they are not mandatory. You can still play heroes uh, you mastered or you have fun at. So, and as I said, try to learn like two heroes for each role. And even if you don't get your favorite role, uh, favorite role, you can still use other uh, roads with uh, those top uh, with those top heroes and still carry with. I hope you guys enjoyed this tier list and um, yeah learned how to carry basically. And if you guys like this type of content, of course leave a comment down below, um, leave feedback down below if you liked it. What I could do better, like uh, constructive uh, criticism. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss out on any future updates like this or any kind of guides that I might do in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.